everybody is blessed yes 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 wagwan people what you're saying it is i diligent fingers and welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel welcome and that um another morning vlog video i will say right now i've not slept yet <laughs> i'm like not long got back home after being out in London with my friend um, Peachy and that, um, hosting his his, his uh, DJ set at E1 in London and that, it's good, it's good to get out and practice. It's weird because, of, because things have slowed down a lot in terms of bookings. It's weird. It feels like every time I've been getting a booking recently, it feels like I've had so long in between that I'm, I'm just out of practice. And then in between those bookings, I'm so busy with other stuff and that, as well as finishing music that I've made. Like I've not had a chance to write new music. And then the whole writing lyrics thing, that's that's just coming back. And I've, and I've got my audio interface back as well. So I can actually trust the audio recordings that I've got, so that's going to pick up after I've had a bit of sleep today. I'm going to get up and get some stuff done. But that, but yeah, man. If any, if it showed me, if it let me know about anything, to be fair, last night is that I do, I do just need to start getting back out there. I need to stop being on my own so much, man. I had, we had such a great time, man. We, we, we got there. We got there early. I got to see, you know, Tower Bridge, Tower of London. I got to see London Eye. I got to see Big Ben. You know, Central London around those areas is so expensive. Like we're looking at house listings for like two and a half, three million, four million, five, seven million, and shit. Like it was. It was. It was. A cool experience because I've never seen any of these things before. I've never been to those places before, even though I've been to London a fair bit, to be fair. I have been to London a fair bit from Manchester. But it was good. We like we went to a pub, had a drink, played this game called Articulate, Articulate, which is just hilarious. And now I'm actually thinking about getting it myself and that, but I need to be socializing and going out with people and ha like having people around my home for like things like that to work i was i was thinking about getting the true for drink game from the youtube channel cut and stuff and i'm like why am i getting that i had I, you know unless it's for music i never really have people in my home to chill <laughs> they just you know that often so yeah it's it's a lot of things are being recognised recently, you know, not being on Discord in the more like as much as before and not being on voice chats as much as as, as before has like sort of helped me to realise how much of things that I relied on during the lockdown period and during the pandemic pandemic, um I've gotten way too comfortable with, you know. It's easy to just say, "Oh, I'll see you in Discord, and I'll chat you in chat to you in the voice, in the voice chat, and this, that, and third. And this doesn't mean like don't don't worry. If you're part of my Discord um, server, if you want to join, link is in the description. But if you're part of the Discord server, and that, that doesn't mean I'm gonna be doing any less. I need to pick up really. I need to do more in the Discord rather than less. But just chilling in the voice channels all day." And that, like, at times could have been very distracting and it's stopping me from getting stuff done because I'm just talking to people all day. And that, I'm not that good at multitasking and stuff when it comes to, like, interacting with other people. Like, I'm a very attentive person when it comes to um, interacting with other people. And that, so I can't do the whole, oh, we're on a voice channel and we're having a full-blown conversation, but I'm also getting work done at the same time like I, I couldn't I couldn't do it at work <laughs> when I was working in call centers um and I can't I can't do it now especially now that I'm a bit older 
um, the capacity for multitasking is just not there when it comes to verbal as well as action and stuff in two separate areas and shit. So, yeah, I, I realised that it was sort of distracting me from getting stuff done. I've been able to get so much work done in, that in terms of label, motion gang, in terms of, you know, planning things behind the scenes and stuff like that. I need to catch up on so much music so so much music you know but yeah just recognizing these things recognizing you know how much like my social um social ability is sort of dropped as a result i, f I felt proper awkward at times yesterday like i just didn't know what to say to like these people that I've only just met two of them. I've literally only just met that night, you know. And not to make myself feel like, oh, I'm I'm the one, I'm the odd one out kind of thing, even though I kind of was because it's three friends that know each other. One of them has invited me out to come and do this thing with him, you know. And of course they're going to have their conversation because they're actually friends. They know each other for real, for real. And I'm the new person and stuff like that. But I kept clocking myself, like feeling a bit awkward at times which never used to really be a thing and that really i just gave it just chill not i don't know maybe it's like i didn't notice things and i'm noticing them a lot more now due to a lot more self-awareness i don't know but i was clocking a lot of things like being put in that situation where you know i'm out on my own and the feeling of that has completely changed to to how it was when I was younger, you know. But it was a good thing, though. It's a good thing noticing these things, recognizing these things as a way of being able to combat them, deal with them if they need deal with, dealing with, combating them if they need combating. But you know, like recognizing and acknowledging these things are the first steps of, you know, making changes if they need to be made. And shit. But overall, it was a good night. It was a good night, good turnout, wicked turnout to be fair. E1 in London, wicked club, crazy, crazy club in a crazy spot. In that, in a very super expensive area as well. Like, just the buildings and architecture, like, surrounding that club. And that is just crazy expensive. And <laughs> crazy, crazy expensive. Did that. Crowd took a bit to get into us after, like, a lot of jump up and that, a lot of, like, nostalgia bait music, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it was just a lot of it. Even the Venga bus was getting played last night, and, oh, there was, I'm sure there was a Barbie thing or an Aqua thing and that. A lot of stuff that was getting, was getting played that called back to older stuff, which, in some cases, I was really surprised about considering, like, how young um, a lot of the crowd seem to, seem, to, seem to look. But overall, wicked night. Wicked, wicked night. Gave me a boost, gave me a bit of confidence as well to, like, you know, feel like I've still, I've still got it <laughs> in this music. To, you know, my words, words still mean something. And that, you know. Weird to say, especially, like, having a Twitch channel and having the opportunity to regularly, like, spit lyrics and stuff like that on my Twitch channel and stuff. But I need to get back into practice with all of that, to be fair. Especially if I want to build some sort of live show around my album next year. But, but yeah, it was good. It was good to get out last night get out of new scenery, new environments, a bit out of my comfort zone because I'm travelling with people that I don't know that well. Good people still, but I don't know them that well. Do you know what I mean? I'm kind of kind of fighting my anxiety as well and shit. It was good. And then to be able to clock things and, you know, to be able to see things in, like in, in a way that, you know, I can come back home and build. I can see what needs changing to make improvements, you know, going forward. 
He's good. He's good. He's a good man. I stand. Definitely. But I need to get some sleep. <laughs> so, I'm going to finish this video here. Quick announcements. And that to like big love to everybody who's made it to, the, to this far in the video. I appreciate you so so much, especially like yesterday. There's a 40 minute 40 minute video. Anybody who's making it to the end, actually watching these videos through, like I appreciate you so much because I recognise that I can talk for England. <laughs> I like to talk a lot, and that when it comes to you know filming these videos and. And things like that, like I can, I can make therapy sessions go over an hour, like add on an extra hour just from me talking and explaining things, and you know things like that. And thankfully, like my therapist isn't too stringent on things like that. She can make allowances like that. Same with my counselor as well, which is good, especially with dealing with like vulnerable, pe vulnerable people and mental health issues and stuff. You know, it's a good, it's a good thing to have people like that. That will make those allowances for you. Excuse me. But yeah, man, everybody who's making it to the end of these videos, thank you. Sorry for the burp then, but thank you so, so much. And that. Uh, um, full release day was yesterday for the Motion Gang Volume 2 EP featuring Dr. Gang, DJ Direct, Tripzilla, and Vox. Brady XK link is in the pres uh, in the prescription in the description for that. Like I said, link for the Discord if you want to join the Discord and the Motion Gang community is in the description. The members club where you can get exclusive music, you know, um, remix stems, sound packs, vocal packs, loads of stuff. Link for that is in the description. Also, we are celebrating three years of my record label next month and there is a remix competition um going on at the moment the deadline is the 5th of june it may be getting extended because i wanted to announce um the winner um of the competition um a week later during a special ray train that i've got going on on twitch but everything's being pushed back in regards to that in terms of the ray train and the announcement date to the 21st so i may extend the deadline by another week as well just so that if other people if more people want to get involved and that with the remix com competition they most definitely can do um, but all all of the links for that is in the description box below um yeah man there's a few bits and bobs that's going to be going on with me as well. I can't think of them right now because I'm tired and I need to get some sleep. <laughs> um, but with that, thank you. Thank you so much for watching, listening. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing weekend. Happy Saturday. Take it easy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your mental health. Because good mental health is wealth. Trust me. I'm not wealthy right now. As you can see, I'm going through my own shit. But I'm I'm on my journey. And I wish you luck on your journey. To get to that wealth stage. You know. And with that as always. Blessings to you all. <laughs>